Most of the old folk here today need particular care and attention. I'm sure you wouldn't believe but we've actually lost somebody. Uh, Mrs. The number of pupils at Park High who have special needs is much smaller but growing. About one in 12 children at the Comprehensive is classified as having learning difficulties or a disability. Gavin was born with deformed hands. Right, push. Lovely. Great. Fantastic. I don't think there should be a problem for handicapped children, other children, like the able-bodied children, except that now that they are handicapped children about, that they're not being hidden anymore. Do you want to make a move or not? Do you want to make a move? No, she just doesn't want to do what she's told. I want to see. I'll, I'll leave it to you to do it. <laughs> Dark region here, which we call the saddle. Marion has hearing difficulties. And so does Chetan. How important is it for children like Chetan and Marion that they go to a mainstream school and not a special school? I mean, mm. Do you think that's important? I think it's very important. They're at a local school. They're with people that live near them. Um, and, you know, the crunch comes when they're leaving school and they're going to be out in the hearing world. <laughs> Terry comes from China and has language difficulties. Today, a lesson about AIDS. When a man is sexually excited, yes, and he ejaculates, he it is has an orgasm. That has developed from this. All right, help me out. Come on, what's the word that, what's the, word that the kids would use? I wouldn't know. Oh, I see. <laughs> It's good to see it happening, that children that perhaps would have been sent to a special school for the physically disabled or sent to a special school for the deaf, those children actually coming into mainstream schools. And, it, and that is a challenge. I think it's, it can work, but it does need a lot of thought and it needs a lot of consideration. Parents' evening and a row is brewing. Mr. and Mrs. Stein's daughter Deborah has been given a detention for leaving school during lessons without permission. She claims that a first year pupil told her that her mother, who is recovering from a car crash, had been taken ill at home. It was only when she got home that she discovered she was the victim of a cruel prank. The parents meet Deputy Head John Rumble. I'm afraid to say that she is not going to do the detention because somebody has played a practical joke on my daughter. I must say, this is not the first practical joke being played on us by pupils of your school. We had phone calls in the middle of the night, um, all night long, uh, yoghurt thrown at our car. This was the last straw. The school are not convinced by Deborah's story about the boy, believing that it might be more than coincidence that she went home just before a science test. She must recognise the person. She doesn't think she would. She said her mind... I mean, she really... She said to me, Mummy, my mind went blank. She said, when they said you were ill, all I could think of was you lying somewhere and I had to get home and I just ran out of school. I personally would say it is imperative that we try to find well, out we've told who her. this we've told person her this. was. The head will deal with the matter. My wife and myself do not get on too well with Mr Ford. So we've had words. We've had words before. Well, <laughs> so you know, you're not really asking me as a deputy to intervene no, between no, him no, and no, you, no, are you? No, no, I'm no, just no, saying, I'm making all. you aware no. of the situation. We're making you aware. There is no way that I would be foolish enough no. to do that. No, 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 no. It's almost a year to the day that Deborah was given three detentions for fighting. Her parents again thought it was unfair and refused to let her serve them. The head disagreed, but eventually a compromise was reached, and she served one. The head sees Deborah to ask her if she's been able to find this mystery boy. Have you found this first year boy yet? No. You haven't? No, sir. So that, why not? I haven't seen him or anything. Now, you haven't come up with this boy. I cannot possibly accept your story unless you do so. Oh. Right? Right, thank you. Take that home. And slam the door on your way out. 
What about if the school says this time she must do her detention? Well, then it goes to the Board of Governors. Oh, take Board of Governors, Education Department, Local MP, I don't know, whoever else Because we feel she is... She is... She's been victimised. Victimised. When the parents send children to school, they accept the school's authority and discipline. Um, this is a normal routine matter, it's a detention. She's got to do it, I'm afraid.